Hi everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Prison Architect, episode 5, which originally aired live on Twitch. So we have all the, we have a lot of sprinklers to suppress fires. We're installing them all. And we have just brought in a bunch of criminally insane. So let me close uh, intake. I'm going to station two guards out here rather than one. And for me to complete the criminally insane, uh, I need to intake a few more. Wait, I thought I was intaking some. I think my minsec just get cycled out so quickly. Oh no, here they come. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, and close. Nice. He arrives with a hammer in his pocket. Maybe he was just happy to see me. Is there one sprinkler that, uh, that doesn't have any water connected? Yeah, I think there are some sprinklers, if I understood your uh, concern correct. No, actually, we're good. They're all sprinklered up. Okay, uh, prisoner needs slash spirituality was the winners. So let's take a look at the needs real quick. If I go to needs, uh, clothing has not really been fulfilled, so expanding my laundry room would be good. Um, luxuries and comfort are a problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna proceed time a little bit and just see if they if, if it changes. Um, if their needs change. But my criminally insane wing has been fulfilled completely, and I have a big cash flow now as a result of um, filling them up. Let's do a crackdown on drugs. Oh, I'm already done. Awesome. Uh, well, fine. Let's do... I don't really know. I'll start advanced farming. So, in terms of needs... Comfort, I think... Family visitations, showers, somewhere to sit. That's uh, some needs of theirs. So, somewhere to sit is pretty easy for me to solve. I could just add some chairs in here. Um... Uh, I was going to add a couch here, and I never got around to it, so let's add that in. Or sofa, whatever they call it. And then, in the yard, I'm going to add bleachers. So that's somewhere to sit. And then I'm also gonna in the yard. I'm gonna add um, small benches for there for them to sit as well. <laughs> Did I miss some uh, reference there, Teddy? <laughs> Your comment about I can't believe I'm eating a vegetarian seems to come out of nowhere. Alright, 
So the Kremlin and Sandwing has been going okay. I mean, they're they're a little agitated. Um, so the Psych. Oh, hold on. Um, what is it? Programs. We want psychiatric consultations, right? We're going to want to do a lot of these. So I have uh, a bunch of time slots for psych evals uh, so that we can help out. And let's see. I'm going to change the floor here. Hmm. I'm tempted to have reclaimed rubber flooring for the psych offices. All right, and then uh, let me start to do nicer sort of flooring over here as well. So I'll put a little running track in, although that's under the benches, so it's a bit of a joke. Here, a little better. And then... Uh, in the shower, we'll do metal flooring. In the staff room, we'll do blue flooring. Canteen, do some of that checkered stuff. You love me deal with the love I, I'll take it <laughs> I'll take whatever love I could get uh, common room we'll do mosaic and then what should be the flooring here I kind of like the iron look man nah, we'll do wooden whole lot of wooden it'll be expensive but uh, everything will start to look nicer as you'll see oh the kitchen this needs its own look too. Kitchen will do. I don't know. Just a wooden floor kitchen. I like that. That'll keep all my work work people uh, busy for a bit. Let's do the wood flooring for the uh, the classroom too. Kennel. Dogs are the best. We'll give them brown carpets. They can poo on the floors. No one will know. All right, my offices get a little upgraded as well. The morgue will go with uh, white tiles. Visitation. Fancy tiles. And white tiles in here as well. Reception. Fancy tiles. Got to leave a... Why are you here, roach? Do I not have... I have room for you. Why does it say... Why does it say you're here? Because you belong in solitary. Uh, I might need solitary and confinement... Um, a solitary confinement cell for the criminally insane over here. Um, it seems like that is a, a recurring problem, so let me get a tiny little confinement cell. Bye, Tusk. And then I'll move this light to there. Oops. Pet Yoda. Absolutely. Too many prisoners lack basic literacy skills. You know, that's my not my fault. If they don't read good, don't blame me. All right, so we're, we're obviously retiling a ton of the prison, making it look more comfy. I hope I hope you like my design choices here. Uh, parole. Should be given the same as visitation. 
And then laundry, we'll change those over too. Look at them. They all want alcohol and drugs. Man, all of you. Really? All of you? Even the Sikh? Or the Sikh? And Lutheran? Why are we searching them? Uh-oh. Don't die! Don't die! I've been on quite a kick. If I take a look at my daily cash flow... Uh, let's see. Days without incident? 20 days in a row without, like, a major incident. I'm getting a lot of money. Like, actually, the vast majority of my daily cash flow is because I have been incident-free. Introducing all of these uh, criminally insane honestly put me at a huge risk of losing all that money. But uh, I'm all for it if you are. If you are, so. All right. So here's a... Um, I'm going to put this back up to see if you want me to change. So if you go with, like, prisoner needs, I'm going to do literacy. Otherwise, um, I kind of did aesthetics, even though you didn't really vote for it. So I, I apologize that I sort of ignored your last wishes. But I, will, I won't ignore them this time. So have at it and vote. And uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to actually fulfill what you all vote on <laughs> this time around. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be better, I promise. I promise. All right, so for flooring, I'm going to have paving, paving stones out to here. And then I'm just going to do gravel uh, everywhere else where we have just general storage. Oops, not there. I'm trying not to do any terraforming if I can help it. Hey, RJ. Thanks for the reset. All right, so it looks like literature is going to be the thing we do. Um, so for that, we're probably going to want a library. Uh, the only problem here that I foresee is I'm sort of running out of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the farming fields out here. Just entirely. Um, and replace them with vegetables. This area. I'm going to leave the fruit. And replace the farming fields with vegetables. And then move this vegetable over. So that we can utilize this space for like literacy. For a library and all that stuff. So for as far as rooms go, let's do this. Let's do a vegetable allotment here. That seems like a good spot for it. And we'll put the... Uh, not the fountain. The sprinkler. Where, where, where is it? Crop sprinkler. There it is. And then we'll do another vegetable allotment next to it as well. Maybe with a little bit of space in between. There. Two vegetable allotments. That's going to be plenty of veg. And then in the middle, how big do the... How big do the flower gardens... Oh, five by five? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to have a 5x5 five five space. Uh, so forget that. Uh, but what this does allow me to do is uh, it allows me to increase my yard a bit. So I have just a little bit of a better yard. All right, and then these little guys are going to require sheds. So veg a lot, two sheds. And then let's do paving stones between them. Like that. Beautiful. I think. Uh, so over here, we're going to break this all down. And this is all so that I can work on literature, believe it or not. So let's finish that poll. 
and update the project description uh, work on whoops work on literature where we're gonna have a library so everything everything that was once um, farming over here gets removed and we'll put the sheds here and here And I'll start planting uh, in a minute. Because I still, I still have a bunch of uh, farmers on payroll, so it makes sense to keep them active. So let's see. Potato. Maybe if I zoom in enough, it will restrict the list. Or alternatively, I can just go do going green. There we are. So carrots. Potatoes. Tomatoes, cabbage, more tomatoes, and more potatoes. Good enough. That's a good variety. So there we go. We've moved our farms. Uh, we have a better yard. This yard here. I'm going to make the yard. I'm going to spend a second to make the yard look kind of nicer because it sucks. So I'm going to have a running track um, that goes around the perimeter. And then I will have grass on the interior. Whoops, not there. And then I'm going to move things so that we can actually do a full lap. Not that I suspect people will want to do that. And then this floodlight here, I'll just... And I'll put there, I guess. Move these compost bins. So we don't have compost in our uh, in our yard. All right, move the weight benches out of the way. Look at all those bananas being harvested in 28 degree Fahrenheit. I'm glad there's no temperature requirements at all because uh, it doesn't really make sense that I'd be able to have bananas in this climate. <laughs> all right. And, th and this, uh, w one could argue that this is... Ooh, I have an injured guard. That's not good. One could argue that this is mostly aesthetics, uh, but... It's, move, it's nudging everything around so that I can make room for uh, the literature that you all voted on. So There we go. That's a bit of a nicer yard, I'd like to think. And then let's, uh, let's paint this yard proper. Uh, I don't know what the dimensions are, but I'm going to repaint it so that it's what it should be. So include that, include this, include that. There. Yard. And then uh, if I go to logistics and go to the room quality... Um, it'd be better if it was a little larger, but, uh, let's see what else I could, I could add tire, appar tire apparatuses to it, but I think they look terrible. So I'm going to add a few more punching bags and what else increases the yard? I don't know. It's good enough for now. All right, let me focus on what you all wanted, which was library stuff. I'm going to do seven by nine. I'm also going to do, let's go deployment, and this will be MinSec, or MedSec. So if I end up having medsec guys, uh, we have somewhere to put them. I'd like to have my patrollers go out here at some point. Okay, cool. Ooh, I found drugs on you. Naughty, naughty. 
Right, this requires an entrance. So this is going to be our library. It's not going to have to be all that secure. So we're going to do a door here. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to lock this shut until we're done. Because otherwise my prisoners flood that door and try to escape like they did last time, which didn't... Was, was annoying. This is a pretty cramped little prison, and obviously I have some unused space out here, but I like it. We're still easily outproducing power that we're than we're we're currently using, which is good. Okay, there we go. Now, now there's no fear of them uh, blitzing outwards. So, uh, concrete here, and then this here is going to be our library. So we're going to need some library shelves. One, two, three, and a sorting desk so we can sort the books that we get. There. Maybe one more library shelf. And then if I go to deployment, I'll be able to assign people into the library to work. Oh, it also wouldn't. We should make a room for prisoners who can't read good. Yeah, we are in agreement, psychologist. We are in agreement. And then, uh, then I'll pull you all as to what you want uh, next. What you think I could next benefit from? Oops. I. I, for one, really uh, like the cozy feel. I don't know if you all, but I particularly enjoy cramped, cozy. In fact, I would go so far as to say, well, first, let me, um, I'd go so far as to say I'd like shrink my island down where I have like stuff over there, but um, let's do windows. Large, classy windows for our offices to overlook the sea. That sounds just so enjoyable. And then I'm going to turn this back into water. See, look at it. Isn't it nicer? This place looks great. I appreciate it. I, I, I will say I don't always make the most aesthetically pleasing uh, <laughs> designs, but I try. I am missing some major things. I'm missing a pantry. I don't really have space for a pantry right now. Um, I'd have to do something. I don't know what I'd have to do. Ew, you guys are really mucking this up. Uh, what I could do is let's do prioritize janitor in here. S saying, please clean up the uh, insane asylum. Oh, God. What is th that's not right. And then we're also going to have a uh, solitary confinement um, room here for those that need it. And this should be... Insane sec only. So we're going to have an insane sec solitary confinement eventually. Uh, now that the library is done... Let's go to logistics and assign uh, some prisoners to work in the library. And uh, they'll be able to dole out books. And get people to read. And then it also would serve me well to... Hmm. So, so now that I have this all minsec, uh, what I'm going to go and do is... And this is something I probably should have done a long time ago. Just destroy these walls. Just to totally pointless and dismantle these doors and uh and expand and use the rest of this space here because this whole thing is one big uh minsec dorm dormitory
Uh, this door dismantle. What is this other door doing? Uh, it's just like floating there. Dismantle that one too. Now, I believe dorms can benefit from... There we go. It's saying it's not enclosed. Is it... How is this not enclosed? What is... What the... Uh... It's enclosed. Here, let me check deployment. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's a little weird. Is that better? Maybe they want this to be a separate shower. Okay. Because I know, I know that dorms can benefit from having showers as part of them, but if they're complaining about it, I'll just set it back to the way it was. If the game's like, hey, that's not how you're supposed to do this. That's fine. No, it's still complaining about it's the entrance. Well, the entrances are, are locked down too. Surrounded by walls and doors. Yeah, this is very clearly surrounded by walls and doors. Oh, I painted the room outside the door? Uh, let me check on that. Maybe that maybe that's what I did. It's a dorm. No? I'll, I'll just repaint the whole thing. Alright, so shower. This is our shower. Dorm. This is the dormitory. No, nope, still complaining. Still complaining. What about now? No, oh, I think we're good now. Maybe? I think it's okay now. All right, and then even these these external doors could just be locked open. They don't they don't need to be. Uh... Nope, it's doing it again. Sort of. I I don't really exactly know what's going on, but it seems to be working fine. So I'm just gonna ignore it. Uh, next focus. Literature is off of the list because we have lit now. Uh, it might be a good idea to have a camera there though, just to make sure everything's on the up and up in there, because I don't have eyes in there. And I don't commonly have uh, anyone patrolling into it either. I think that's the last camera that I'm allowed to have before I need to make another uh, CCTV. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I do believe it's an 8 to 1 ratio, so. Oh, that's the last one. But that library will allow us to um, dole out books. And then what I need to do in here is to have, like, a bookcase. And then maybe some bookshelves. Uh, so that we can get them to read. And then we'll... we'll is this a... Do you have a body? No. You don't have a body. Okay, that's good. Dude's a ghost. Yeah, he's a ghost. I'm really confused by that, but all right. All right, so let's take a look at the literature. The literature needs should start to go down. Uh, also, logistics. Uh, what is it? Um, the 
deliveries. Oh, yeah, I need to fix this. Uh, crop distribution. Yes, yes, yes. And then food distribution. Okay, that looks right. Prison labor. Room quality. The common room sucks. Got it. The dorm is actually pretty good, but the common room the common room is uh garbage. Hot 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 garbage. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is to dismantle this door, dismantle this door. We don't need four solitary cells. I'm just gonna go with uh, two solitary cells, and if I need more I can add them. Uh while you're all voting. Uh, because it looks like prisoner needs is one that might win. And then I'm gonna demolish the walls back here and build walls. Remove those solitary cells and just have a nicer, larger uh, common room. Because the one I have is awful. And I know it. All right, floor. Let's do metal floors in there. Make it extra uncomfortable. And then mosaic in here. I'm not some sort of Nazi. I'm going to actually have a couch to a TV, which I didn't have before. Now, these chairs here are for the Alcoholics Anonymous course class, so they have to kind of stay. But then let's see about room quality. We can add a chess table, an arcade cabinet, a snack machine. Let's do that. Snack machine. Arc. Arcade cabinet. And chess table. Uh, we'll put the chess table here. With uh, two leather chairs. Very plushy. All right, that should uh, raise that quality up a bunch. Oh, let's add a phone booth as well. Man, this is like a man cave now. Okay, it's quite nice. If, uh, so if you're curious about what the ramifications for stealing might be, what the dangers are, uh, you can go to the intelligence here and, um, and uh, as you can see, the vending machine and the arcade are stash locations, but they don't actually produce anything bad. Now, what produces stuff that are bad, like these sheds here, axe, saw, hand fork, trowel, spade, shears. I mean, those are obviously dangerous. And then contraband coming in from visitation, uh, poison and clubs from here, ropes from laundry, uh, scissors and, and fountain pens from um, the library you know, intelligence. And then we can also see what has been found. So a bunch of junk thrown in from the edges of the map, which makes honestly very, very, very little sense uh, logistically. But if I wanted to get rid of that, I could, um, I could fence off a perimeter. You can only throw, I think, 10 tiles away. So if I added fences like this, uh, and then added like a uh, some sort of like fence gate here. Let's do fence gate staff. Uh, that might cut down on some of the thrown objects. Um, well, we'll we'll see if that uh, has any sizable effect. Prisoners look a little untidy. Yeah, I need to expand the uh, laundry room, I think. Uh, that's something I've been meaning to do, so let's do that. Um, the cleaning cupboard doesn't need to be as large it is, as it is, so I'm going to expand the laundry into the clean cupboard and have the clean cupboard be a little bit smaller. Let's move the door down one and fix that. Uh, taking a look at your priorities for me, prisoner needs is chief amongst them, so I'm going to focus on prisoner needs. 
So let's look at that. Family is uh, the highest prisoner need. So in order to help family, phone booths and mail would help. So let's uh, let's get a mail facility. Um, hmm. trying to think of how I want to lay this out. I'm going to lay it out like this. Uh, I'm also going to need a new CCTV. There's not a good flat surface for one, is there? No, there is not. Uh, let me fix that. Very plushy leather chairs for the CCTV folks. That's how I'm going to roll. All right, so the clean cupboard is all messed up. But uh, we, if we were doing prisoner need, we also needed laundry. So let's uh, expand our laundry capabilities here. Moving these down, and then just the simply having a larger room should allow us to employ more people in the laundry here. So if we go to deployment or logistics, max jobs eight. Yep, there it is. Oh, I cut power to the island. Uh oh, that's not good. Let's get that back. I was like, what is going on here? And I'm going to uh, fix the wiring because it was all wrong. Fix all the, uh, the plumbing as well. Keeps warning me about literacy, but it's like, honestly, I'm doing a pretty good job of having a big old library. Uh, so, speaking of the library over here, let's put the wall in here. And then we're going to have um, to work on prisoner needs. And, and let me update this. Uh, needs, there we are. Uh, we're going to put in a door here with st having stones and solar lights. There we go. All right, and that will be for mail, so that they can receive uh, mail from um, uh, from family, and that should help with uh, prisoner needs. It is a point of smuggling and all that, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a um, a scanner and scan for it, which will uh, require a lot of power. So. Uh, being concerned about my power, let me put uh, some additional hybrid, oops, hybrid power in. I, I think I'm generating plenty of power. I don't really don't think that's going to be an issue, but uh, I'm, you know, if I can afford some extra green power, I might as well use it. So here in logistics, we have more people running um, laundry. And then... I did just install the extra CCTV, so let's get a camera in there and put a light in there. And then this here will be our mailroom. So our mailroom, oh, needs to be bigger. Five by five, huh?
there. Be a little weird, but... Okay. Can I use the classroom for literacy? I can. Uh, I don't know if that's the problem, though. So I have a foundational education program that uh, people are already enrolled in. Um, but I could do, if there's interest, the general education, but nobody's interested right now. So I don't really need to do that. Uh, the, the literacy is mostly just books. Uh, and then another way to improve that would be um, bookshelves here in my insane asylum. Just because they're insane doesn't mean they don't read, so let's get them some books. And then... Libraries. We should make a room for prisoners that don't read good. I think I already did that. Why do they keep warning me about that? I have a classroom and I have a I have a library. I don't know why I'm getting the uh, additional warnings. <laughs> they just read the Necromicon. <laughs> Don't read that. I'd be very in trouble as a warden. All right, see so here's our mailroom, uh, library. Let's put flooring in here. Some good old wooden floors in the mailroom in the library. That sounds right. Seems about right. Uh, around the edges, I'm going to continue pathing stones just so that uh, my maintenance people can can move around uh, the edge of everywhere more quickly. It also might be in my best interest to allow them to come from the other side as well, from over here. So that we can walk the perimeter uh, more quickly. Okay, so mail room. Um, okay, so we've met the media, minimum size. So then we need a sorting desk. And tables uh, to store the mail on. And let's connect up uh, the other CCTV. done. So now I can see in there. We have the ability to add in a whole lot more cameras if we want. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is the scanner. So we have the scanner machine, which, uh, let's read it. A machine for delivery areas and storage areas to scan wooden crates for contraband must be wired to a scanning monitor for guard to spot contraband uh, a guard's ability to spot contraband will depend on their tiredness. So if we put a scanning monitor here, uh, and a scanning machine, I think what I could do is I could set it up so that, um, actually I don't really know how to use this. So let's try to figure this out. Let's do a fence or something. I don't know. Oh, why are you still here? And punishment. Dear Lord. I definitely missed that. I have no idea why he was locked up as long as he was. But he immediately goes to punch the shower head. Yeah, I mean, I deserve that. The rest of my uh, 
criminally insane are like not in a bad mood because I haven't been like deranged in their punishment, but Roach there, oof, I feel bad. What are you doing? Uh, so... Let's lock you down. It's probably actually my fault. Staff only. Yeah, you're not like allowed back there. <laughs> I have to, I have to say, you're not allowed to break out. I, I didn't know I needed to specify that, but. All right, and then once he's back, I'm just gonna allow him. He was just traveling somewhere he was allowed to do travel to, so I'm gonna end his punishment. It's not his fault that this got flagged as like a shared spot, because obviously it's, it's not. Uh, all right, so now we have a mail room. And that will deliver mail from home to prisoners um, to hopefully fix the whole family issue. Um, wire to a scanning machine. Connect. And then we power this on, and that should scan all incoming everything. Maybe I don't need the fences. I don't think I need the fences. I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll I'll try to catch it working um, next time it's uh, it's up and running. No, they absolutely just. Hi, Marples. You're back. And you're sitting there like you're a guard. Interesting. I think this is just for. What are you doing? How are you even... Why? All right. Something's wrong. Let me pause for a second. Uh, deployment. Whoever is working this remote door, you're doing it wrong. So let me try to have like an air gap so that they're not allowed out there. So I'm going to move the solitary. Um, let me do that as a priority. And then uh, let me do... A door, remote, here, with servo. That's an airlock. Oh, death. Who died? Oh, good. Drummer has a axe, and he's running around trying to kill me. He killed a workman. And we have a breakout here. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Just stick a guard in the way. Wait, guard? What are you doing? All right, uh, bang up. Oh. Okay. Apparently he's already banged up. Um, what is going on up there? I don't even know. Step. Stepping stones. How is everything... How did everyone just, like, all of a sudden escape everywhere. Oh, he's released. He's not escaping. Yeah, he was being released. Why was he... Why did he have his fists up? Alright, well, I want to make this a top priority there. And then let's put this wall in. So we have a mandatory bang up. Everything's going insane. Yeah, I don't really know how all the insane asylum people just decided that they were allowed to just go wherever they wanted to. Like, I truly just don't get that. Um, but they all sort of simultaneously decided, oh, yeah, rules? They're not for me. And I don't I, I don't have any concept as to why that is. But, um... All right, so now what I could do is deployment. Here, this will be... Why isn't this, uh... There we go. That's what I wanted. So this is staff only. So that staff will only be allowed through these doors here. Um, and hopefully that will stop the insane, it's, it's insane asylum people from deciding, oh yeah, yeah, I, I could go wherever I want, because obviously that isn't the case. Alright, 
And let's end the bingo. Um, so we did have a death, which sucks. Because my... Somehow my days without incident... I don't know how I got away with that. I had a worker die and apparently no one cared. Let's fire him. Fire the dead workers. I don't have dead workers. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I probably still have a gravestone, right? I have two. Who else died? Oh, right. We had that other OD, the, uh, the cop that OD'd. I don't think this scanning machine is doing really anything for me. I don't know how to use it. Scan machine, delivery storage areas. Must be wired. Whatever. Uh, dismantle. And dismantle. We're running a minsec. I don't think I really need to worry about it too much. Okay. All right, we'll put the poll back up for you for the remaining five minutes. Our prisoners lack basic literacy. So a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads. Um, let your prisoners escape into a good book by giving them access to a library. You know, they have access to a library, so I don't really get what's going on here. Um, I'm going to specifically set up a lot of my areas here for Minsec only. You think this scanner needs to go to the delivery zone? Um, I don't really have a delivery zone. What is this dude, dude doing? Oh my god. Mr. Dude with no body. Who's starving to death. There's something wrong here. Alright, end punishment for Dumber. He's dumb enough. Palmer. I don't know what's going on with him. He's a man with no body that's starving to death. Oh, he's drowning. <laughs> Alright, so he's um he's drowning right now. And I don't seem to be able to stop him from drowning. Um Let's try to throw him in solitary? I really don't even know. I like I don't even know. Yep. Why are all my... No, no, no. No, no, no. What? All the visiting families just skipped past reception's uh, metal detector and went through the kitchen? Uh, excuse me? This is a staff door. See, if you, if you take, if you slow down time a little bit and you, uh, take a look at what's going on, you can, you can see that there's some, like, obvious stupidity. Uh, so one of the ways that you could do is visiting direction. We can have visitor, you can, like, direct the visitors in... Uh, so I'm gonna do that now. Where I paint, like, a visitor entry. Because they're doing it wrong again. I don't want the visitors to be able to, like, smuggle things in more easily. Uh-oh. He's gonna die. Alright, so luxury goods and spirituality, uh, tied for the win. Um, I'm thinking about, like, just the the amount of space that I have, uh, something might have to give. 
No, I might be able to to um, move some things like this uh, shower room or common room to who? Di yeah, he died. He OD'd before a, a doc could get to him. Thank you for watching Chris and Architect, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you're wondering if there will be any more Chris and Architect, this series is a result of a poll I put out to all of my viewers where they are able to vote on the games that I play. If Prison Architect gets voted up again, there will be more content beyond the first stream. Or, alternatively, if you vote for another game, I'll bring that to YouTube as well. If you're curious about the polls, just go to Rodamont.com or the community tab of Rodamont Plays on YouTube. My stream schedule and countdown timers for streams can be found at Rodamont.com as well. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode for an upcoming stream. Farewell.